how dangerous do you think this isolationist policy of the U.S. president is, what with the import uh, uh, tariffs that he plans, and also for, with the fact that he doesn't think the EU uh, doesn't uh, deal with the EU um, in a very respectful way? And um, uh, Mr. President, America first, don't you think that this is going to weaken also the European Union? And why are you so scared of um, diversity in the news and in the media, that you speak so often of uh, fake news and that um, things, after all, in the, uh, in the end cannot be proven? For example, the fact that you have been wiretapped by Mr. Obama. <laughs> nice, friendly reporter. Well, first of all, I don't believe in an isolationist policy. But I also believe a policy of trade should be a fair policy. And the United States has been treated very, very unfairly by many countries over the years. And that's going to stop. But I'm not an isolationist. I'm a free trader, but I'm also a fair trader. And our free trade has led to a lot of bad things happening. Uh, you look at the deficits that we have, and you look at uh, all of the uh, accumulation of debt. We're a very powerful company, country. We're a very strong, very strong country. We'll soon be uh, at a level that we perhaps have never been before. Our military is going to be strengthened. It's been depleted. But I am a trader. I am a fair trader. I am a trader that wants to see good for everybody worldwide. Uh, but I am not an isolationist by any stretch of the imagination. So I don't know what <coughs> newspaper you're reading, but I guess that would be another example of, as you say, fake news. Okay. Also